Hi guys, you might recognize this drum from some other videos. It's my 60s Ludwig uh, marching snare. It's like 15 by 12. I put this wood hoop on it. And I also put on these distinctive green uh, snare wires. This is actually trimmer line. And I think it sounds pretty cool. You can watch some of my other videos on the channel. I'll maybe link to one where I play it and you can hear what it sounds like. Um, but what I'm having a trouble with with these is they're kind of stiff and going around the corner here uh, over the bearing edge, it's just causing me a lot of difficulty putting the strainer on and off and adjusting the tension um, because they just think they don't conform to the shape well enough. And uh, that, I, it just bothers me. I don't like it and I'm going to try something else. So what I'm going to try instead are these, they're synthetic gut tennis racket wires or strings. I got them for like three bucks on the internet. So it's not a big investment, but they are about half the gauge. So the green trimmer line was like 0 0.08 of an inch, and this tennis racket stuff is like 0 0.045 of an inch. So it's in the ballpark of about half the thickness, and I think that maybe it'll conform better to the shape of the drum and be more adjustable, which is, you know, what I would like to happen. So I think the first step here is I'm just going to loosen the screws on the butt plate and pull these existing wires out, and then I'll just have to deal with them on the other side. Take some pliers and I can just kind of pull these things out of here. Then I have to finagle them out of the holes in this side of the strainer, and I can't even do that with my fingers. I have to use the pliers, and it's still really not easy. So this is probably should have been an indication that this wasn't going to work out that well. They're just so stiff, that's why I could never operate the lever. I got them all out now. These were really the length that I wanted, so I'm going to use one of them to sort of measure out the tennis racket string and get the same amount of uh, snare wire, but not this beefy, non-flexible stuff. Hopefully you can see this. Um, the synthetic gut here is notably thinner than the trimmer line string. I'm just gonna to try to line it up with the green string and get roughly the same length and cut myself some pieces. Okay, I got one piece. Before I cut all the rest, I'm gonna make sure this is gonna work. But ultimately, I'm gonna need six pieces because they go down and back, and I have 12 sets of two holes in the strainer here. So when I load this in here and go down, it should make it to the other side. Um, and clamp in there nicely. Really, I gotta just thread it, thread it through the hole in the strainer here. Most people just use this for the strings to put on a regular, you know, metal strainer. But this is what it's actually for, and it would have been gut in the old days, even into the 60s. So the synthetic gut, I hope, supposedly is gonna be a very similar product. On this side, I'm just sliding between this piece and the uh, you know backing piece that actually clamps things together here. And I try to keep them in the same order and not have them get crossed. That way the tension will be not so weirded out. At this stage they are all pulled through the butt plate here and I have to go through the painstaking task of sort of getting them at an even tension across here and keeping them from getting all tangled up. So I'm just going to kind of pull on them and tighten this down but not all the way so that they can like slip through but only with a lot of force and get them to be relatively evenly tensioned across there and then I'll clamp it all down so I can then adjust it regularly from the other side. So after quite a bit of struggling I've sort of got this in the way that I want it. It's not 100% perfect but it'll function for now. And then if you look at the other side, kind of just pops right out of there and um, goes on to the resonant head. Now, um, I could probably finagle with these for another couple of hours to get all the tensions just perfect, maybe get a more responsive snare sound out of it. These unfortunately don't look as cool as the green trimmer line. It's not as distinctive, but hey, you know, this actually probably looks more authentic, like its actual gut. Um, or, you know, it sort of looks the way that snares look on modern marching snare drums. So, uh, you know, this is probably better in the long run. I don't need to have green snare wires.
unresponsive. It's not as articulate as like a jazz drum set snare, but you know, it's for wailing on outdoors actually. And I've got it kind of in a, it's a wacky configuration, right? The wood hoop, the strata head, the hazy 300 on the bottom, tennis racket string, but I think I'm getting a snare sound out of it. It's pretty distinctive. Um, it, it doesn't sound like any of my other snare drums, so to me, that's a little bit of a win, and I think that'll do it for today. I'll probably play this in future videos, but thanks for watching. See you guys next time.